This video will show you how to use PyTorch's max operation to calculate the max of a PyTorch tensor. First we import PyTorch. Then we check what version of PyTorch we are using. We are using PyTorch version 0.4.1. Let's next create the tensor we'll use for the PyTorch max operation example. So here we have torch.tensor which creates a floating tensor. We have a 2 by 3 by 3 tensor that we're going to assign to the Python variable tensor max example. Visually we can see that the max is going to be the number 50. Let's print the tensor max example Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a PyTorch tensor. We see that it is 2 by 3 by 3 and we still visually see that the max is going to be 50. Next, let's calculate the max of the PyTorch tensor using PyTorch tensor's max operation. So torch.max, we pass in our tensor max example, and we assign the value that's returned to the Python variable tensor max value. Let's print the tensor max value variable to see what we have. We see that the max value is 50. The one thing to note is that PyTorch returns the max value inside of a zero dimensional tensor with the value of 50 inside of it. Let's double check to see what it is by using Python's type operation. We can see that it's the class of torch tensor, so it is a PyTorch tensor that is returned with the max value inside of it. Let's use PyTorch's item operation to get the value out of the zero dimensional tensor. And now we get the number 50. And just to make sure it's a number, Let's use the Python type operation to check that this is actually a number. And we see that it is a Python of class int for integer. Perfect. We were able to use PyTorch's max operation to calculate the max of a PyTorch tensor.